What's up, YouTube? It's your old school expert, and I am here with my boy, Yu-Gi-Oh! First Deck Collector. I'm at his house, so we got his, his setup going. And we're opening 40 packs or a booster box of uh, Korean LOB. And we're doing like a little pack, uh, I guess, booster box battle uh, to see who gets the better pulls. So um, he, already, he already did his video. I have no idea what his pulls are. He won't tell me. So um, I will find out soon after I open these up. So let's get going. And um, we're going to try to open these as fast as possible because it's 40 packs, which takes a long time. And they're kind of pain in the butt to open. Too. They are. That pull tab doesn't always work very well. Oh. All right. Oh, jeez. There goes 40 packs. Oh, man. I know. All right. First pack. Legendary sword. That's pretty cool. Commons. All commons. And the hole at the very end of these packs, which I find yeah. really cool. Well, in my other box, they were in the beginning. Really? Yeah, they were all in the beginning. At least all the ultras. Are you talking about in the pack or in the box? In these. Oh, in the pack, yeah. In the pack, they're, they're at the end. My bad. Yeah. I thought you meant like where the oh, hollows yeah, are in the box. Them up a little bit. I should have. Damn. I'm afraid I'm going to like mess the card up. Yeah. Dude, the pull tab just doesn't work very well. You should like hit the side of the cards. Yeah. It doesn't damage it, or it hasn't yet, but... We'll watch it be the boys, and that's the one that damages. Oh, that would suck. Right, let's do that. Much better. Oh, yeah. Much better. Petit Dragon. Uh, Beast Fangs. Hinotama Soul. Mystical, Mystical Moon. And... Uh, M Robot number one? No, M Warrior number one. That's number one. I think number two is the more defensive one. Nice, nice. Oh, you should have seen me sitting here trying to guess the name. I started making up names. Man. There's a couple that I, I would struggle with, but for the most part, I think I got them. That's Larvis, Tyone, uh, Legendary Sword, uh, set some gray. gray. Yeah, it's, it's gray something. And a Goblin Seeker Remedy is a rare. Yeah, that's the first rare you pulled. First rare, I know. It was like four Dang, packs. Man, I'm winning so far. <laughs> Probably scaled my packs. I did. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I won. Dragon okay. Treasure Aqua and Treasure. Aqua Madur. You know what's the first rare I ever pulled? What is it? Oh, hang on. I remember you telling yeah. me. Yeah. It's a nostalgic card for me. Oh. Hang on. that one. Nope. What was it? Oh. I don't know. Spirit of the Harp. Spirit of the Harp. Yep. I thought it was amazing because it had By such way, great I defense. Like how you're opening the back, so that's working really well. It is, because you got to just knock it down, yeah. knock the cards down that way, that and then the pull tab works Perfectly. pretty well. Gosh, man, you should have seen me open. <laughs> Fusionist, I like that card too, because... No, no, dude, I'm telling you, they come in bunches. Yeah. Unless you scale them out, because you're a scammer. <laughs> Here we go, first haul already. Nope. There's M I think that's M Warrior that's number two. I think... Um, so Fusionist, Fusionist is one, one of my favorite rares, sorry, in this set, because um, I remember it was like 2004 maybe, and I was at um, I was at the mall in Chula Vista. What? There's no holes. They'll come, they'll come. They better come. They will. They come, mine came in the middle last time. I they gave, all came in the middle. I gave the guy a good review already, though. Sorry, oh, man. All right, so I was at the mall, it was like 2004, Darkfire Dragon, and... It was really, um, like, you couldn't find first set LOB anymore. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards weren't crazy popular on the internet yet, so you pretty much just bought what you could at local stores. And they had one pack left of first edition LOB, mm -hmm. and I hadn't seen first edition LOB in a while, at least, like, six to eight months. And this was, uh, what set was out at this time? Oh, man, probably, like, Magician's Force uh, or something. Like so maybe, I think 2003, like, late okay. 2003. Like September-ish mm -hmm. of 03. Maybe, no, maybe longer. It really might have been like Dark Crisis area. So like end of 2003. Hey, yeah, polymerization. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That's awesome. That's very cool. Now they're all going to start I'm all right with that. Yeah, watch. They're going to come back yep. to back. All right. So anyways, they have one pack left. And it was $15. And they at the time, they wanted 15 And it was the last pack. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. I had a 20. And I bought it. Nope, nothing there. And... Panda Warrior? Panda Warrior. I think that's what it's called, right? Oh. Frenzy Panda. Frenzy Panda. Panda Warrior. 
<laughs> and uh, it was a fusionist. Mm -hmm. And I was really disappointed. And I don't know why I thought maybe I'd get a hollow. Charbon the Fire Knight. So you paid $15. 15 bucks, and I got a fusionist. And now, I mean, looking back on it, a first edition fusionist price still isn't $15, but a, a pack would have been, you know, a pack is now worth way more than that. What's the thing? Uh, I was looking at one yesterday. You can't find a first set pack for less than 500 bucks. Yeah, I think that's just because there's a short... I don't think anybody's buying them for 500. No, that was Oops. only TCG player. And yeah. Like the, like core TCG, like the big box, you know what I mean? Yeah, so if, I'm sure if one went to auction, it'd probably be around 200. Yeah, I'd probably Somewhere around there. 50, yeah, I could see it. I'd be surprised if it sold for three. Dang, well, man. How many did you scale? Dude, I did a bad job. You got all of them. <laughs> yeah, no, you failed. I could have used that polymerization in mine. Pot of greed. That's a, that's, a, that's an awesome rare. I don't think I got that. Maybe that's I did in my uh, in my other box. Oh, maybe this is M Warrior number one. I think, that, I think I don't know. Or number two. I think that's M Warrior, and the other one is Hard Armor. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Correction. Hard Armor. So hey, there's man. a Hain Hain. Dude, this is not looking very well. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're such a scammer. Dude, no. I love the guy good feedback too, man. Did you leave yourself good feedback? <laughs> Trap you hole, you failed Trap again. Hole, I failed twice, dang. Man, you only scaled out the ultras, right? I know. I tried to get the heavy. The secret? That trihorn? Maybe there's a secret. Is there is Gaia in here? Gaia's gotta know. be in here. I've only seen trihorns. I've only seen get uh, I think there is a Gaia. I think it's gotta be. Because uh, I think Rux actually got a Gaia. Oh okay. If I'm not mistaken. Alright. Flower Wolf. We're like more than halfway through. It's moving. It's we also moving. got Invasion of Chaos and Labyrinth of Nightmare. If anybody wants to see those open, let us know. I think they do. Because yeah. everybody sees LOB all the time, but yeah. those sets are far we got, we also got the less common. Oh, God, nobody wants that. Armed Ninja. Got another rare. Dude, this is not looking very well. I mean, you're gonna find them all. I, I think I'll get them all in a in a Unless bunch. Unless the guy open them all up and then. Oh, that's a that's a hollow. Right, yeah, a So we got supers. So Matt only scaled out the ultras. So at least we got some supers. Yeah, in the secret. What are you supposed to get? Four, two, and maybe one. Yeah, it's about four, two, and one. It's pretty normal. Way shorter than mine, man. I'll tell you, I was like literally. I got like, <laughs> like biting the <laughs> axe, man. Oh, oh, oh! Dark, Dark hole. hole. So there's all the supers. Oh, here comes all the. Here comes all the. Ultras. Where them ultras at? I'm not gonna lie, my ultras weren't that great. Yeah. No. Hard armor. Hard, Hard armor. Dragon treasure, violet crystal, man. Nope. Graveyard. Another goblin Thomas. secret remedy. Larvis, uh, Silver Bone Arrow, Beast Fangs, um, in, uh, Basic Insect, and Stop Defense. Oh, no ultras, man. No ultras. But he wouldn't... Oh, man. This one didn't work. He wouldn't just scale no, I, one. I got ultras. I got two ultras. Yeah. My box. And maybe a secret. This one's a uh, Monster Reborn. Yep. Oh, so that's, that's one that's ultra. ultra, huh? That's, that's probably one of the, one of the good ultras right there. Eh, I pulled one in my last box. It's better than better than a freaking Exodia piece. Yeah, that's Not true. Well, oh, don't don't worry. I'm sure we'll get one of those too. Dragoness the Wicked Knight. Unless it's first at LOB, I have terrible luck with LOB. But when it's first at LOB, I have great luck. So I'm definitely not complaining not about me. that. Oh, I know. Spirit of the Harp. There's my girl. Playing that harp, keeping that defense up. Alright, so you should get one more ultra. Yeah, I should get another ultra. Oh, I told you it's gonna be an Exodia you piece. I told you. Oh well, you my god. Still get a, That's so lame. You could still get a That's terrible. Super rare. I would rather two Exodia pieces. We got the right or the left arm. I think I I know I got one in my last box too. I'm pretty sure at least Reaper of the Cards. That's a cool looking card. It's like the worst box because it's probably not going to have the secret either. T 
terrible box. Be the very last pack. Watch. Giant Soldier of Stone. Dragon Capture Jar. Final pack. It's gonna be a secret for sure. I don't know. Let's see. Metabat. Yeah, you know what it's called? Metabat. Uh. Uh, electric Whip, Electro Whip. Electro. I think it's Electro Whip. Umi, uh, Silver Fang, Here and no. Flame Ghost. Oh, wow. that was a terrible box. On like to be completely honest, that was a pretty bad box. But let's go through it. So we got a um, Left Arm of the Forbidden One, a Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Red Geki, uh, Trap Hole, and a Polymerization. So go check out uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! First Deck Collector's box as well and let us know who pulled better. I'm assuming he did because this is almost as bad as you can get. Yeah. Um, the Supers were actually decent. I think it was cool to get Raigeki and Polymerization. Um, but the Ultras were pretty bad and no secret. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out his video. It'll be linked in the description. And as always, stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.